So today I have a really random, like crazy big haul for you guys. I've just picked up some random bits and I figured some of them were still in the bag and some of them I've worn a couple times but I'm like, I'll just collect everything that I really recently remember hauling. So I haven't filmed one of these in a while and I thought it would be fun to just kind of share with you some random bits and goodies that I've picked up lately. So let's get into it, shall we? I'm feeling real festive with my red lip that'll probably end up all over my teeth by the end of the video, so that's fun. Let's start with beauty-ish stuff, and then we'll move on to clothes because, let's face it, I have, I have accumulated quite the amount of clothing lately. So, let's start with the shampoo and conditioner that I just picked up. I literally always use this, but it does say new. I don't know why. I don't know what is new about it, but it's like the damage line from Pantene Pro-V. And yeah, I don't know what's new about it, to be honest, but it says it's new. So that's cool, and yeah, I think it's just new packaging, something. I don't know, it should be fun. So I picked up that the other day when I was at the grocery store or drugstore. And then also this, which I've seen people rave about this and I've never tried it, and I'm not a huge lotion person. Like, I know I put it on because I have to, but I really don't like to, and I don't like it, and I never find lotion that just works for me. So I'm gonna try the Nivea In Shower Body Lotion Skin Treatment. So I'm excited about this. I think you just put it on, and then you shower it off, and it's supposed to make you feel like real moisturized, so. We'll give it a go, we'll try. Let me know in the comments down below if you've tried this before. Something that's really not beauty related at all, but I just really wanted to try it. And I did my laundry today and I haven't, I didn't even try it. And we were like sitting in the, oh, I don't wanna ruin my nails, but I wanna open this and smell it because I actually haven't smelled it because it was like, I was like asking my boyfriend when we were like in the drugstore, I was like, all right, what's this smell like? What's this, what's the name of this? And he was just like, um, jeweled emerald. And I'm like, what does that even smell like? but it smells good, I'm a fan, it smells like laundry. So these are like those little scent booster things by like Downy, but but not, because they're here. And then I bought those, so I thought that would be fun. Okay, I did a little bit of shopping at Lush and stuff, but let's start with Kiehl's really quick because I'm obsessed with Kiehl's, I'm obsessed with skincare, if you guys don't know that. Where have you been? Anyways, I picked up the Rare Earth Deep Pore Daily Cleanser. This is with Amazonian white clay, detoxifies and exfoliates. Definitely read those words in the opposite direction. Exfoliates and detoxifies. Slightly dyslexic, I know. But anyways, this is what I picked up. I do like this. Um, it's I. Right. I don't think it's, oh, it has salicylic acid in it? I didn't even realize that. Um, it's okay. I think that my skin just I don't know. My skin is just my skin. It's strange. I don't know, but this is nice and I have used it a couple times and I like it. Something that I know my skin loves and I love equally as much is this baby right here. It's the Midnight Recovery Concentrate and I've used countless bottles of this. This is my second bottle since being in Japan. It's amazing. This stuff is so, so good if you've not tried this. Um, even if you have oily skin, dry skin, any kind of skin can use this. So it's phenomenal and I use it pretty much every single night. It's great. So, Okay, um, uh, one little randomy, oh, a couple more randomy things. Um, I picked up a nail polish, I'm clearly not wearing it today, but this is Color Club's Dance for France. I picked it up, it's just a nice, really light baby, milky sort of jelly pink, which I like on my nails, so it's nice. I picked up a body scrub because I've been on the hunt for a body scrub since being in Japan that I love and I cannot find one. So I went to the body shop, which I've heard good things about their body scrub. They have a bunch of different kinds. I ended up with the, um, oh God, that's the wrong language, the mango sugar body scrub. And I've tried like a bunch, like they had a bunch of different types too and I don't like the creamy exfoliators. My favorite exfoliator of all time if you live in America is the Tree Hut, the Brazilian Nut Tree Hut one from Walmart, I think is all you can buy. It's just so good. And I tried the Lush um, Ocean Salt Scrub, don't like it. Um, so this one seemed like the best consistency to me. I don't love the smell, it's the mango one, but it was the only one in this consistency in this scent. All the other ones were like a creamy one, which I don't like, and I like a sugar scrub um, and not like an apricot shell scrub. I think that does better. It does a better job polishing the skin. So 
love of that. And then I got a bunch of Lush goodies. So yeah, because I'm crazy and I like Lush and I bought a holiday gift package. I don't know what of this came in the holiday gift package and then I bought some other random goodies, but this was one that came in the holiday package because I know I never buy their shower gel because I think it's a little overpriced, but it is nice and it is good. So this is the Rose Jam and it's really, really nice. I love the smell of this, but I think this little bottle is like ridiculously priced, so I never buy them, but it's good stuff. Another thing I got in the kit is the Rose Argan body conditioner, which I think is really similar to the Nivea in shower lotion thing. Um, yeah, it smells so good. I love it. I love the way it smells, but I think you just put it on um, when you're like in the shower. So similar, a conditioner for the bod. I've got lots of bath bombs and bubble bars and all that good stuff, which I'm planning on using one tonight. This, thank God, Japan. I don't know if America, they do this, but I don't think they do. This is the Tisty, Tisty Toasty? I don't know. I've never heard of that before, and I think that's how it is, but the words are really random. But they keep them in these packages. This is just a heart with some flowers in the center of it. And this is a bath, no, bath bomb, bath bomb. Got that, and then another, I think this is a bubble bar actually. This is a Mando Pondo. I don't even know if that's true, <laughs> to be honest. This is a bubble bar, but it's from Lush. And then, what else did I get? This is the Rose Jam Bubble Rune. These are so cute, they have like, sparkles on them and they're so stinking adorable. I got another bath bomb. This is one I've always wanted to try, Intergalactic. It's so beautiful. I think I might try it tonight because it's gorgeous and I have something all over it and I don't remember what I had that was so sticky and nasty, but something. And then last but not least from Lush is the Creamy Candy Bubble Bar. And yeah, I think I got most of these in like the, ugh, gross. There's like, mm, sticky gunk on it. Um, most of these came in a little holiday set that I bought for myself. Um, I also got a face mask too, which I'm starting to think I don't really like their face masks, TBH, but what else? Um, most of them I got in the holiday gift set. I always recommend, like, especially around the holidays, I bought one for Neilani, but I also bought one for myself because it's just a really good deal. And yeah, so most of those came in that. Okay, those are all of the random beauty goodies, which I know I picked up way more but I don't know where they all are or whatever, so this is just a random haul. Let's move on to clothes and shoes, starting with shoes. I picked up two new shoes the other day because I really needed some better work shoes. Um, I pretty much live in my Target leathery slip-ons, which you, if you've seen my videos, you know I'm obsessed with them, but they are getting really, really bad. They're just starting to crease on the outsides. They're not good support. Like at the end of the day, my feet literally kill from wearing those and I'm starting to develop like just sores on the sides of my feet just like not good so I'm like I need to invest in some nicer shoes so that's what I did and I really love the style of those so I was like I really want another pair and so I decided to get the Van Black slip-ons these are for kind of expensive I think they are leather which is why they're expensive these are like a hundred bucks um and they're just like leather slip-ons. I really wanted the perforated ones, like my old Target ones, but they didn't have them. And I was lucky to even find these because I haven't been able to find these anywhere. And these are just the black, I think they're leather. Um, it doesn't say, does it? Yeah, slip-on leather. <laughs> That's why they're so expensive. Um, I had to half up a size, or I just got a six and a half instead of a six, which I normally get as a six, because I think my being on my feet all day, my feet start to swell, and they kind of expand in my shoes, so I definitely needed a bigger shoe. But the support on these, the soles on these, are just so much better than my Target ones. So I'm super excited, and I love these classic black sneakers with like jeans, with leggings. They're just great and super sleek looking, so. Yeah, them's are those. And then another pair that I got was a new pair of Nikes because we can wear these sort of like classic sneakers and these really don't have that much support after feeling them. They aren't really that cushiony, but I think I'm gonna put some insoles in them. But I just love them. They're like a classic, kind of like a, how do you call them? They look a lot like New Balances, and New Balances are super big here, but they just don't look good on my foot. So these were really slimming. I liked the neutral color. I like the toe on them. Um, and these were around 
uh, like 75 something like that which I thought was a pretty decent deal for a pair of sneakers so these are really cute super neutral and we'll go with everything at work with jeans anything like that um, and I think that my feet will love me after wearing these compared to wearing just like other shitty shoes that are not as good support so again I went in a six and a half in these as well and I love them I wore them the other day um, after I bought them because I had to change out of my Converse because my Converse were killing my feet so badly so yeah that's all of the shoes that I've bought recently. Um, okay, let's move on to the Stradarvius, which is like one of my favorite stores in all of the land. They were having, um, the day after New Year's or like after Christmas, they have all their crazy sales and the day after New Year's is when it's, or the day, New Year's Day is like the, it's like Black Friday in America, it's insane. But I got this before Black, or before New Year's Friday and um, like after Christmas. Or was it before Christmas? No, it was right before Christmas. Yeah. Or was it after Christmas? It was after Christmas. Anyways, whatever. Who cares? It is a sleeveless, um, like, poncho, not poncho, like, trench coat sort of thing. I just thought it was really cute, and it was on sale. You really can't tell in this lighting, but it's got a tie waist. I thought it'd be nice for spring. It's got some lapels, and it's just, like, this nice, um a taupey color and I really liked it. And then to go with it underneath, I thought this was super pretty. It was just this blue, like oversized, um, long, I think I could make it a shirt dress and then tie it like with that around it. Just looked really cute. Like I put it on a hanger and made an outfit out of it. I was like, this is cute. So yeah, this was on sale as well. Or no, this wasn't on sale, but not that bad at all. I just love this color blue and I thought even with white denim, super pretty and yeah. That's all I got from Stradarvius. From Bershka, I got this shirt here. And Stradarvius, I don't even know if I'm saying it right, and Bershka is the same company as Zara. Just a lot more affordable. Um, but I got this like basic Henley sort of shirt that I really like. I got this from Bershka. And then some other things that I got from Bershka. Um, one thing is still in the dryer washer. So you won't see that. It's just a pair of like athletic leggings. But I got this beautiful coat and it's an athletic -y sort of top, and I think it was, yeah, on sale, like, majorly. Um, so it's just kind of like this salmon pink, um, got a hood, like, athletic -y sort of jacket. And I, like, live and stuff like this with leggings and my black slip-ons because that's just, like, very classic and comfortable style for me, and I love it. So I got this, and I had been eyeing it back even when I was in Tokyo because it's from their... Um, be dry line they're like athletic -y line and I've been eyeing it but it's expensive like normally so when I went on sale I was like heck yes I'm getting it and I got a pair of black athletic leggings to go with it but I couldn't resist the color all right moving on to some oh here the leggings are not bad they're right here um so they're kind of like yeah I don't know they're like a sort of jogger style but I like them so yeah and they say start moving on the bottom so that I got to go together as an outfit. Um, moving on with my athletic -y little kick lately from Abercrombie. I picked up a couple of things, but I'm gonna start with just their like athletic -y line. So how adorable are these little pants? They say Abercrombie on them and they have a little a &F on the side right here. And they're just long um, gray sweatpants. I've been wearing them all day, so that's why they're probably a little dirty, but they're jogger bottom and they are so adorable. I'm obsessed. I don't even think they're out on the floor yet. Um, I went in the stock room and got them because I'm crazy like that. And then to go, it's kind of like a Kelvin Klein-esque set, is this little sports bra. So this is what the little, my phone is ringing, but what else? It says Abercrombie down at the bottom, if you can see, and then it's got like a little sports bra with like a little racer back in the back. It's so adorable. So yeah, if I'm feeling real like, um, I don't know, cool, hip, I'll pair these together, but I live in these. They're like amazing. They were really expensive in Japan, but they are amazing. So yeah, how adorable is that? Um, okay, moving on. Let's just look at some Hollister clothes because I think that's pretty much all I have left and some other ra random things. But how adorable is this little shirt? And this is brand new. Um, it will be coming out in the spring. It's not out just yet, but, or maybe it is online, I don't think so, but it's a little like, it looks cropped, but it's not, but it's a little like salmon and white striped shirt with um, like navy piping around the sleeves and the top, and I just think it's so cute. Um, I literally loved this, so yeah, about this in this color, as well as in, da, 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 
the opposite. So navy and white stripes with the pink sort of like salmon-y piping around the top and I just think it's totally adorable. It reminds me of like Oshkosh Bagosh, but I'm obsessed. Moving on to some other striped goodies. These are also new for spring, so they might not have hit your store just yet, or they might if you're lucky. This is a white and blue striped shirt. I live in white, I live in stripes, let's put it that way. And then it has an alternating, like the sleeves are a different color with the pocket, I just think so cute. And then little cuffed sleeves, so I love it. And then I also got it in gray because yes, I love it. I just think this with like these and like a pair of jeans is just a really nice outfit. Super comfortable, super practical for work. And yes. Okay. Oh, some other little. I got so much crap. This is from Hollister as well. Brand new. Um, it's probably not out in your store just yet, but it's kind of like a bandagey sort of skirt at the top and then it flows down. Just so cute. I just love this with like um, a white sort of scuba tank from Abercrombie would be so adorable. So, yeah, got that in a small. Um, I got this shirt from Abercrombie. I've worn this already once, but this was really cool. It was very eye-catching to me. I really liked it. So the beginning, I mean, the front just looks very basic, just like a nice V neck. It's blue, I mean, gray and white stripes, because yes, stripes. Um, it has the little hole thumbs in it, which I thought was a little weird, the thumbs for the holes. But the back is what's really cool. So it has this line up top because the back is a crisscross sort of drapey thing and it's so cute on. I literally love that. Um, I got a pair, a new pair of leggings. I've gotten a couple pair of leggings from Abercrombie and Hollister. They're just really nice quality. These are super thick. They have the paneling on the top to really suck it all in. They're high waisted and they have a little piping down the center of them. I just love leggings like this with big oversized sweaters like this one from Abercrombie. This one has a huge cowl neck and it looks like that, it's gray. It's kind of like a peppery sort of color, gray and white and black. And then it's just very long. It could almost be a shirt dress if you're short, but I'm not, so I wear it with leggings and my black slip-ons and a top knot and it's so comfortable. So, yes, beautiful. Um, for some more springy stuff, this actually just hit Hollister. It's a coral sundress, and I know you're like, it's winter, Kelly, but this is so pretty, you guys. I, I wore it the other day to work, and everyone loved it. So it's like a lace corally dress, and it's got like a slip built in underneath. I don't think you can see it, but it's adorable. It's good length, and it's perfect color. I think it goes well with like any skin type and any um, hair color, so I'm obsessed with it. I think it just threw off my whole lighting, and my video is gonna tell me that it's about full, so there's <laughs> that. And then there's also this other lacy top that I got, um, which is for the spring line as well. It's got lacy sleeves and just like lacy up top, and then it's built in like this kind of panel at the bottom. Super cute, totally messed up my lighting. And then last but not least, some winter stuff because I needed a new winter jacket um, because the jacket that I was using was from Hollister and it was very like fall time but not a winter, like this snow is here so I need a nice winter jacket. So I got this one from Abercrombie and this is the, let me look, the a &F Premium Arctic Parka. So it's red, it's got a furry hood and this is what it looks like. If you see my vlog channel, you've seen me wear this. I love it. Um, it's really, really nice. And I went with the red because I thought it was super cool. I just really liked it. And it's got like the sleeve insides. And to go with it, I bought this Christmassy scarf. So that's pretty much what I wear now that it's cold in Japan. Sorry, my shirt has been like driving me crazy this whole video. So sorry if my lighting is off. I don't know what's going on with everything that I've held up. It just kind of like goes wonky. But that is my kind of recent haul craziness. I know, sorry, it was a lot and all over the place, but I thought I haven't sat down and filmed a little collective haul for you guys in a while, and I love doing them, so that is, uh, yeah, what I bought recently. Let me know in the comments down below what kind of videos you wanna see from me this, um, year because it's 2016 so happy new years um and be sure to check me out on instagram and my vlog channel if you kind of want to keep up with my day-to-day -day life and see me a little bit more because i know i have been a little mia on this channel but i'm still i'm still doing it so don't worry you guys and i love you and i will see you all in my next video bye guys